Bear. Big Wrecker. Big Wrecker and there goes Vermont. Oh, what a beautiful three days. Wish it could last forever. Into the big beautiful lake. Sixth great lake. Fort Bear just stalled. Second time or third time it's done it. It did it at the car show. I thought I was out of gas, but it wasn't. a lot higher. Another ferry boat full of happy passengers. Some going to work, some going home, some just wandering around. Like us. Needs to be shined up big time. I got some rust on my rear here. Guard on the back. Touch off. It's just dirty and greasy. Back to work. No hot water in one apartment. Need to get a TV in, in another furnished apartment. Someone's drains backing up. Yep, all this on the weekend. Perfect timing. All right, we'll head on back. We'll get her done. We'll go cut the grass. Uh, the fun's over. Yep, Corvair goes back in the warehouse. I gotta change a bunch of pushings on it. It stalls when it's hot. Vapor lock, weak fuel pump. Runs perfectly otherwise, smooth and quiet. Turbo weasel running well, using less and less water all the time. Block sealer works. Can and works perfectly in all the directions. And you do it before the things guzzling water. You do it before the problem is small, so it can be repaired with block sealer. Pulling into port. Beautiful day to be on the lake and relaxing, forget all your problems, just fall asleep, maybe have a cold beer. We didn't even have any beer or wine, no time, so many things to do. Alrighty, I'm gonna get back into my Corvair with my big foot gas pedal. I don't know if you can see it yet, just a little bit. Guys are working hard on the ferry, wondering what the heck is that car with no grill in the front? Is that an old car? One of my friends got a Corvair. He lives just around the corner. He works on the ferry and he's fixing her up. 64 convertible. Maybe we'll see him one of these days. All right, we gotta get well, going. Well, things were going perfect until I got off the ferry. <laughs> Pushed off. Got gas? Not very much. Vapor lock. Just put some water. I put some water on the fuel pump and the carburetors. Oh, there she goes. Turn her off. The heat soaks into the fuel pump and boils the ethanol in the fuel. We don't need no stinking corn in our fuel. You want corn? Feed it to the pigs or have it at a corn roast. But don't put it in my fuel, thank you very much. So I got pushed off the boat and I've been tinkering with it for the last 10 minutes and once you cooled off, fired right up. I don't know what the answer is. Closed pins on the fuel line, maybe an electric, little electric assist pump. Don't tighten those too much, just enough. Oops, there goes the socket. Thank goodness I have a magnet on my dash. Well, crank this baby up. I always carry a magnet. I just bought a spare one at the car show. Whoop. Got it. She's a runner. Doesn't like the hot soak. The hot soak. Well, fix her up. Patience. A little bit of vapor lock. Well, fix her up. What a pain in the butter rune ski. This is CW is gonna be hollering at me. Where did you go? What are you doing? Why didn't you come back with me? Because the car wouldn't start. Well, it started and it ran for a minute. That wasn't enough. 
clear up the vapor that was locking the fuel line. That's why they call it vapor lock. Junk. Guess we'll need a little electric fuel pump. Last car on. Yippee! Hurry up. Don't want to miss the boat. Otherwise, you got to wait 20 minutes for another one. 40 minutes after 10 o'clock at night. Alrighty. We're all set. We'll get back to work. We tried to slack off. We tried. Yummy. I love my Corvair when it runs. 